Did you know that we share 50% of our DNA with bananas? No, cousin! Do you really eat bananas like that? Mm-hmm. That's, that's very strange. Welcome to Smosh Lab! <laughs> Guys, welcome to Smosh Lab. Uh, Woo! Woo! Here on the show, uh, we do a lot of uh, crazy big explosions. There's really not much practicality to big explosions though. This episode's gonna be different. This one's gonna be helpful. Uh, we're gonna help you survive. You will know what to do to help ensure the survival of you, your family, your country. And our survival expert today from the YouTube channel, Nickopedia, you know him very well, Nick Uhas. Get out of here! Yeah! Woo! We're gonna survive. You're right, man. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this stuff, it's like, it's really good science knowledge. We have demos, we show you science yeah. in motion, all that kind right. of stuff. But today, we're really gonna show you really practical science, survival science. Survival science trademark. <laughs> That's ours. You heard it here first. We own it. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you guys how to start a fire with unconventional items. Not, I mean, everybody can be like, you know, gasoline or a lighter or whatever. Yeah. Let's say you're out camping or you're RVing across the country. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Who knows? You're like, well, like we ran out of gas, like we're stranded, there's bears all around us. Mm. Like we need to stay warm and, and stay together and we need right. to roast marshmallows. Yeah, we need to have a good time. <laughs> we're lost in the woods, we're gonna die. Man, we need to find a way to party. It's exactly, <laughs> thank you, priorities, dude. That's and so I've doing. got these random items I'm just gonna set out here. Okay. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a fire with gum and AA batteries. Okay. Uh, nine volt batteries and steel wool. Oh, you're great. And then a plastic bag and some water. Really? Yeah, I know, I know, this one's gonna get Okay, good. that's... It's pretty good. Uh, wow. Yeah, I mean, these are these are items, I, I'd say the steel wool is the only one that I'm I would... I'm not gonna polish the RV. We would maybe not have. Carry steel wool on you at all times. Do you know how many steel sheep you have to shave to get that? <laughs> Dude, they, and they're so hard to catch. All right, so... We're gonna be making fire, and usually when we make fire, we go outside. That so are we is. doing that today? We are doing fire, so we should probably probably go outside. Right, let's Don't go wanna outside. burn the lab down? Let's, yeah, we can't, we can't do this. We already did it once, and it <laughs> didn't turn out well. Shall we? We shall. Fire, fire, fire! Oh, I changed clothes uh, in the netherworld. Wow. Definitely not in Sunny Peabody's backyard. <laughs> nope. We are in the wild. This is where people die. We're down here! We're in Sunny's backyard. We're here. He's locked the back door. Oh my god! <laughs> These things happen to be out in the wild, perfectly prepared for us. Well, we're like in the wild Los Angeles wilderness. The wilderness yeah. in LA is kind of like a, it's, it, it's like Sunny Peabody's backyard. That's what it looks like, but trust me, we are thousands of miles from civilization. <laughs> okay, so Shane, I'm gonna show you how to make a fire with these three different uh, objects. Okay, right. now, most of these things are things that you would have when you're out camping. Not all yeah. of them, but really quickly we're gonna go through it. All right, so the first one that we're gonna attempt, you need sunlight for this one. So if you got some overcast okay. for the first one, no bueno. You're dead, you're dead, <laughs> you're gonna die. Um, so we have a bag, uh, right. and we're gonna fill this bag with water. When you're out camping, you know, there's like streams and rivers and lakes, and if there's it stuff. really comes down to it, you know, you always got some water in the body, you could probably expel some of that. <laughs> so what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna put this into like a, essentially like a, a ball, right? Like right. almost like a perfect sphere. Right. And we're gonna use that sphere to collect all the photons, focus them on a little point, just like what we did with the death ray. No! Ah! No! And we're gonna focus them down on what I have over here, which I've been starting. This is kind of like this little tiny, like mishmash of, of shavings and some pine needles. And you really need it to be really fine in the beginning. Yeah, you need to make your own Italian seasoning. Your own Italian <laughs> seasoning. So you need it to be really small like this, because in the beginning, like you're not gonna be able to light up a piece of wood. We're gonna take that and we're gonna put that on top of this bark right here, and then okay. we're gonna slowly build our fire. You don't need a ton of water. You just need enough to make a, a, a ball like right. about the size of your fist. So now it's really easy to twist it too tight and to, to break the bag. So what you wanna do is you wanna kinda close the side here, okay. and then you get a little bit left right there, and you just suck out the air. Like you're performing reverse mouth to mouth. <gasps> that point's 
actually pretty good, even even with as little light as we have. So let's go ahead and let's give it a shot. Once we get this fire going just a little bit, we want to make sure that it, get it, it gets in a little nest. Get it nice and going, you know what I mean? Got to keep that fire alive, you know? Can you prepare the nest, the fire nest for me, the phoenix nest? <laughs> <laughs> That is magic. So what I'm gonna try to do here, is I'm gonna attempt to get this focal point right. Give yeah. us fire. If we don't get fire, we're gonna die. Once I start getting like a little like ember going here, I'm gonna need you to slowly bring this flame to life for me. Like by just blowing on a little bit? Exactly. Fire! Please give us fire. Now one thing you wanna make sure that you don't do, you wanna make sure you don't use something that is white because it'll reflect all the photons. The more of a ball we have, the better off you are too. That's what I always say. Yeah. We're about to get it, I think. These clouds are moving very slow. Well, that's it, so no fire. Clouds, so game over. Die. Game over, man. It's game over. Hey. You want to take that knife and just sacrifice yourself. That'd we're about be... to die. Here's a thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing. Wow, oh, look God. at this thing. Come here, land on us. Oh, my God, it yes! landed on you. Yes, I am the God of the Beatles. I am the Beetle Man. Cower in fear of Beetle Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways. I think we have some full sunlight here. Right, let's so go let's, for it. Let's try to give this a go again. Come on, I believe in you. Oh, there okay. All right, All, All you need is a little cherry. Bit. All right, now you gotta like, kind of keep. Oh yes, just a gentle kiss. A gentle kiss of air. Give it that mouth to mouth it needs. Milk that sweet, sweet. <laughs> oh God. Woo! All right, now quickly, get it in there. In We're gonna there, have to dump it. it. All right, we just want the ember in there. All right, now we gotta kind of give it mouth to mouth still. We're so close, dude. All right, let it breathe for a second. What we have right now is we have the uh, paper towels on fire, which is good. We're gonna let that kind of ember out a little bit, and we're gonna keep adding some more oxygen to it. Whoa! <laughs> Boom! Yes! Okay. Yes! It's really hot. The tree? We, we want to make sure the tree doesn't catch on fire. No, get out of the way. Bam! Whoa. <laughs> Harnessing the power of the sun. From water, Burn. we have created fire. So you just need a little tiny ember. I mean, a little guy. I mean, it just as soon as you see something that's red and smoking, you can grow that into a big fire. Now, yeah. this is by far, this was the hardest one for sure. This is um, super hard, yeah. We had no power from any other batteries Nothing. or anything. We just literally harnessed the power of the sun, photons, directed them, caught a little tiny piece of dust on fire, and boom, fire. So let's do the other two, because those ones are gonna be a lot easier. Let's do it. All right. Okay, so here is our second way of making fire. So we have over here is we have a double A battery. Right. Um, now let's assume that you also had some chewing gum. Always. While you're out. Always. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking this chewing gum, we're gonna be making a short circuit. <laughs> and we're gonna carve this in a very special pattern that allows us to almost make like a little light bulb that's gonna burn out. Okay. And then we're gonna take that flame okay. and we're gonna then apply that to the same way that we're gonna build up this fire. You have to cut hier hieroglyphics into it? That is exactly correct. Are you putting a rune on it? If you don't put raw in here, it just doesn't work very mm -hmm. well. Whoa, it's an eagle. <laughs> you make origami. <laughs> and you're like, anyways, this is neat. Um, now to make fire. You're going to hold one side to the other. This should light up very quickly because electricity is passing through here. Will um, this hurt? If, if no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, you can do this in your own hands, right? Okay, yeah. No big deal. All the electrons are coming out very quickly because mm -hmm. uh, it's passing through this highly conductive piece of metal paper. Right. Uh, which is one side, the other side's wax paper. So, so what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you like hold like a stick out here, you know, kind of like this, ready to be lit up. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. And it goes so fast. So as soon as I touch this side to it, we have the ignition. All right, so I'm gonna put it right here. Now, what happened there? It wasn't close enough, was it? Ah, that's really hot. Will um, this hurt? If, if no, no, no. Okay. No, no, okay. <laughs> what happened is, is the actual, the metal separated from the paper. The paper mm -hmm. is the part that's burning, not the metal. So if that separates, you okay. gotta do it all over again. The issue is, is that each try pretty much drains one battery. Really? Yeah. It's hot. Man, it's so hot. Gosh. Hot. Hot on my fingers. Come on. Uh, it's so close. It is so close. I feel like we've been doing this wrong and we were gonna die and that's yeah. not good. What we figured out is this, is that Instead of holding the paper like this and letting only this little tiny piece of paper actually go up in flames, we're gonna hold it down 
right? Mm -hmm. So that the fire goes up Makes and catches sense. the majority of the paper That's on fire. Right. I should have been doing it that we knew that time, we but knew that we were showing you how not to do it. Through our trial and errors, we of which we didn't want to show you guys at first, but yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of them over here. So Yeah, those are fake. So we're gonna try that now. So I'm gonna hold it like vertically. Boom, and as soon as I get to the top. Oh, oh, it's burnt. Oh, we got fire, we got fire, we got fire right there. Yeah. All right, now, now keep milking it. Now put it in the thing. Me keep milking it, keep milking it. Oh, uh, I, I. You got some members, that's all you need. Keep going. Yeah. Boom! Look at that! We're not yes. gonna die! We're not gonna die! <laughs> yes. I have made fire! Ah. That man, we're not mm. gonna perish. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yes! Look at the what look at what we've created. We've created we have created fire. Beauty. Now we can light Sonny's house on fire. Perfect. <laughs> that was the goal. Fire control battalion one. I want to fire. Did you copy? So that was our second way of making fire. Uh, very impressive. Easy to do if you allow heat to rise. Fire is your friend in this scenario, despite what Smokey the Bear says. Exactly. Come on, man. We didn't start the fire. You could torch the whole neighborhood. That's right. Well, in this scenario, we, we did. did. Only you can prevent wildfires. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. All right, Shane, what am I gonna do? Is I'm gonna have you teepee this perfect uh, fire pit in Sonny's backyard here. Fire pits are all over the wild. You can find them. They're, the They're by streams <laughs> on mountain tops. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crumple this up into like little tiny, we're gonna just like stuff it in there. You're doing an awesome job, dude. I've never teepeed a house before. Well, what? Just kidding, I've teepeed a house before. I'm, oh. I was a bad, what? bad kid. All right, so what we're basically doing is we're building like the nest. We're building a fire nest here. The toilet paper is gonna catch on fire really easily. Now this one's pretty simple. You take said steel wool. Yeah. Uh, you put it where you want it to, and then you touch the nine volt battery to the steel wool, and it creates kind of actually the same thing as we did for number two. Um, it's gonna short circuit it, but that short circuit is actually gonna continue going through the steel wool. I feel alive! This is gonna give us a, like our ember, essentially. Okay. And you're gonna be able to drop it on. Yeah, well actually we're gonna place it down in here. Now we're here just we gonna go. touch this. Here we go, the, the moment of truth. Let's see if this we can get this to work. Boom! See how oh, we got look little... at this! Oh, it's like little like all little fairy sprites moving around. They're like, yee wee! That's what we wanna do. We wanna capture some of those. Oh my things. gosh! Boom. Yeah, Holy crap! <laughs> So that one was the easiest by far, as you can what see. What the F? All we had to do. I'm pretty sure that was magic. That was pretty magical, man. Look at it's this. It's still doing its little fairy dust thing. Oh my God. That Keep was going. cool. <laughs> that was cool. Dude. What you were actually what? witnessing was the uh, the circuit, actually, of the electricity following around. I saw it, like they're just like moving yeah. around. But you know, Little, little ants. You're basically looking little at fire a, ants. Like a light bulb, but in motion. Wow, and now we have like an actual fire. Yeah, we actually have a real fire now. All we need is a guitar and someone playing Wonderwall. <laughs> so after all, you're my Wonderwall. Where is Paul? We made fire after all. So please subscribe. To Smosh Pit, hit that notification bell. How long have you guys been out here? It's not sunny, bro. It's been two days. Um, it's the middle of summer and you guys are lighting fires in my backyard? We thought maybe we would need food source cooking. I um, can't get over your wall. Yeah, your wonder wall. You have a really nice fire pit though. Thanks. Yeah, it's been really nice. We, yeah. we survived for two days. We also broke in your house and got a double A battery. Where's my TV? Uh, all right, we should probably go. Uh, um, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Uh, we love you. Goodbye. <laughs> so after all, Paul. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm so excited to be taking this journey into the world of science with all of you. Let us know if there's any other cool experiments you'd like to see us do. Science. I need to come up with a better catchphrase.